Welcome everybody to another edition of Baseball News Club. My name is Chris and today we have one of the best, if not the best games from 2019. Yankees visiting Minnesota at Target Field and what happens when you take two of the top home run hitting teams? Just a fabulous game. And before the game, they gave a Nelson Cruz tribute. This guy's been around a while and a fantastic player. 11 straight seasons of 20 plus homers. However, let's get this rolling. So Yankees drew first blood. Edwin Encarnacion just takes a pitch, 94 mile per hour pitch off of Gibson, crushes it off the wall. This will get the runner to third base to set up the next batter. And look at that slide. Hilarious. At first I thought the dirt was just a little wet, so it kind of hindered a slide. Look at the dugout. They get a laugh out of it. But Edwin's technique wasn't really the best. Look at this. Now two outs, Didi Gregorius takes a Gibson offering. Just nails it on the left center. This will score both runs, putting Yankees up two. Gibson not too happy about that. You're going to be hearing Didi and Edwin's name often during this game, but look at this. That's exactly where Gibson wanted to put it. Didi just went with it. Beautiful swing, and this is going to be the first of many highlights. Now it's Minnesota's turn, bottom of the second. Domingo Herman against Luis Ariz. A little base knock up the middle. This will score the runner from third. Now we got ourselves a 2-1 to one ball game. Coming into the game, Domingo was tied for the league lead and wins with 12. Now we jump into the bottom of three. Owen count to George Polanco. Kaboom! Just absolutely blasts this home run into right. This will tie the ball game up at two. And you're going to hear George's name often in this game. But let's take a look at this fan's catch. Two guys go up in red shirts. The guy on the right just gets a little bit better angle and catches the ball. Yeah, man. It deserves a round of a high fives and maybe a free beer. Now next batter, Nelson Cruz, the man is being tributed, takes an 83 mile per hour offering and just blasts it. Now take a look at this. I think I'm seeing a catch and release here. Look at the fan reach over. I'm pretty sure it goes in his glove and out. I can't really tell. Let me know in the comments. And that would be a home run for Nelson. Now look at this. I pause this for all the baseball fans. Can't wait till we can get back to baseball and go to the ballpark. Now bottom of fourth, Jason Castro takes a 2-1 offering and hits it to right field. This will score Eddie Ranza from third. The Yankees get the bullpen going. Still bottom of fourth, base loaded. Eddie Rosario at the plate. Hits a little nubber down the first baseline. First baseman gets it. Gets it to Domingo who bare hands it and then gets the out at first. And then he accidentally steps on the second baseman's toes. That's a 5-2 ball game. Uh, the game's getting away from Herman. He's now facing Miguel Sano. He looks in his hat, see how to pitch to him. He's like, okay, keep the ball in the park. Okay, I can do this. This is where the wheels start coming off for the Yankees. Full count, two outs, man on second and third. Look where the catcher wants it, and look where Sano gets it and puts it. Just absolutely belts it into left field, upper deck. And fans still looking for the ball, and this will make it an 8-2 game. Uh, Boone's had enough of this. Comes out to pull Herman. Now check this out. This is one of the craziest fan replays. Balls hit into, I see no less than four or five hands right there. Hits the back of the seat. Goes up in the air. And what happens when you throw a ball up in the, the air with a crowd of people? Look how many hands go after this. I count at least 12, 13, 14 hands. And they still missed it. Ricochets off. And look at this. They're still looking for the ball. Look at the kid. Don't touch my nachos. You know, kid's probably wondering what the hell's going on. Now Yankees turn top of the fifth. Judge and Edwin on the base pass. Minnesota calling the bullpen. Things getting out of control for Kyle Gibson. Did he at the plate? Kaboom! This one screamed out of the ballpark. No one's going to catch that one. Three run blast. We got ourselves an 8-5 ball game. And I think that went out more exit of velocity around 120. Did he going to give some love at the fans back in New York? What's up? Here's a swing again. This is a fantastic swing. And I love looking at home runs from different angles. Just crushed it. And this is just you know, another moment of a crazy ball game. Now bottom of the fifth, David Hill on the mound for the Yankees facing George Planco. And he takes this 1-2 offering and just dinks it out into left field, a la Rod Carew. Now, was Aaron Hicks too slow to react to this, or just he did not expect Planco to have wheels and get the second? Let me know in the comments. Let's take a look at this again. This is a perfect sinker ball on the outside, perfect location, but Planco, just a beautiful swing, went with the pitch. That's how you do it. Now we jump to the top of the eighth inning for the Yankees. Mike Talkman at the plate. Blake Parker on the mound. Now I have an issue with this. He takes over 11 seconds to deliver the pitch. If batters are required to hurry up, then pitcher should be. But it doesn't matter to Mike. Kaboom! I'm going to take this one out to right. This one's crushed, but this will not make it out. And this will just ricochet off the wall. Only one runner will score, making it 9-6. And since Mike had to wait 11 seconds for the pitch, I'm going to give him an 11-second replay. Look at this. Boom! And... 
you know what, because of the angle, it's a hard angle for a base runner to tell if Alford is going to catch it. Minnesota still trying to figure out how to stop the Yankees. Aaron Judge up at the plate, 2-1 count. Clear for takeoff. This hang time is just incredible. And I think the outfielder kind of took a bad angle. You should know how to play your home field. Ricochets off the wall. Two runners are going to score, making it 9-8. For your Yankee fans, here's a replay of Aaron Judge's double. Blake Parker puts it right where he wanted it. And then look at him. Did I just do that? Yeah, you did, dude. Crushed. Now, a huge turning point during the game. Tyler Duffy takes a two-out full count pitch from Luke Voigt. Goes for the walk. Close call. Look at Skip's mouth. You could read his lips. Everyone's upset. Luke's upset. Coaching staff's upset. Now the home plate umpire, he's had enough of it. He looks over there. Hey, shut your shusher. Now let's take a look at this. This could go either way. I'm sure as a fan you've seen this called either way. But given this point in the game, I could see why Minnesota's upset. Now let's take a look at it before it reaches the catcher, right when it crosses the plate. That's a close call, man. I could see why Minnesota's upset, but I could also see why it was called a ball. Now Luke is pulled. They bring in Ryan Harper to pitch to Diddy. And look at this. They go right back to the well, off speed inside, and they just keep going back and back. And you know what? This is a major league ball player. If you're going to pitch the same pitch four or five times in a row, he's eventually going to figure it out. Now Diddy hits two foul balls and runs the count to 2-2. Now this is where the plot really thickens even more. 2-2 two, two count. Catcher wants it low. Well, let's go back to the well and throw the same pitch, but a little bit higher. Diddy's not going to miss this. He crushes a 72 mile per hour pitch. Doesn't leave the ballpark. It's going to ricochet off the wall, but guess what? This is going to make it a 10-9 ball game. Yankees take the lead. Now, this is a question for baseball fans. I know there's two different strong philosophies on this. Should the coach of Minnesota on the Tyler Duffy walk, should he have come out and argued then or waited till something happens? Now look at the umpire. He's just like, okay, yeah, I've heard it. I've heard it. Too late. And then coach from Minnesota's like, I got to argue to somebody, but he's tossed anyhow. Now bottom and eighth for Minnesota, Zach Brennan facing Miguel Sano with a man on and kadoosh. This one is absolutely just blasted down the left field. This ended up being a 457-foot home run. Now Minnesota's up 11-10. Here it is again. Big man swinging some lumber. Just absolutely crushed it. Side angle replay. Nice compact swing. And look at the dugout for Minnesota. They're stoked. Cruz jumps out. Just pumped. This is just an exciting game. Exhausting to edit, but just a fabulous game. Exit velocity, 111 miles per hour. And yeah, take a current call. You deserve it. Now, here's something that might rub people the wrong way. Do you believe in participation awards when someone hits a home run do you give the ball away to a kid now i've heard arguments for both sides of this i don't know where this originated but for me if it's my hometown team i'm not giving it away to a kid i'm sorry now yankees are up top of nine down by one two outs full count this is that bad of the game for me mike talkman he was down one two count and ends up walking now this sets up the next at bat against aaron hicks here's the pitch delivery bring out the king slayer this is absolutely crushed, and don't worry fans, even bullpen catchers can't catch home run balls, and we've got ourselves a 12-11 ball game. This is the most insane game ever. Look at that, Yankees dugout's just going bananas. Here it is again, catcher wants it a little low, and he just puts it in the wheelhouse, and Aaron did not miss any of this, just absolutely crushed this home run. Now we move ahead to the bottom of the ninth for Minnesota. Yankees closer Chapman walked three batters in a row. He's now facing George Polanco. No outs, 2-2 two -two count. Here's the pitch. And he crushes his home run. This is going to end. Nope. This is just a sacrifice fly. We got a tight ball game. Extra innings, folks. Now before we start the 10th, just want to pay tribute to Pete Diddy. Gregorius, he got a single. Look at the company he's with. That's pretty phenomenal. And also, I need an intermission break. I'm exhausted from watching this game. Now the runners on first and second. Glaber Torres comes up to the plate with 3-0 count, one out. And a little inside out swing out to right center. We're going to get a runner to come around base. That would be Gregorius. He scores. We got a 13-12 ball game. And looky, looky, look who's up. Mike Talkman, the man who started that big drama in the ninth inning. He comes up with two outs, first and third. Yankees still have the one-run lead. Yankees get the bullpen going for the bottom of the 10th. So Stewart's ready to pitch to Talkman. Now what do you think is going to happen? Is it going to be a base hit? Is he going to ground out, strike out? How about a classic wild pitch? Runner from third will score. we got a 14-12 ball game. Now for Minnesota fans, this is a tough way to lose a run. Wild pitch. But look at the base runner. As soon as the ball squirts out to the right of the catcher, he takes off. Great base running, heads up play. 
Now bottom of the 10th inning, Adam Ottavino on the hill, having a good season for the Yankees at this point. Let's check out the first pitch and just bit outside. But never fear, Yankee fans. He takes a 2-2 count, off-speed pitch, frozen pizza for the first out against Miguel. Now Adam walks two batters in a row and faces Are Adrianza with one out. And here's the delivery and stinger up the middle and oh, six, four. And he's safe at first, but man, what a play by P. Diddy to Torres. This could have been a fantastic game-ending double play, but the runner was a little too fast. Let's take another look at this. As a former shortstop, I love the pop-up fielding slide. I'm a big fan of it. Nice toss to Torres. Bare hands at the first. Let's see if he got safe at first. How close was it? Yeah, pretty close. About four feet, three feet. Now the Yankees pull Adam and bring in Chad Green. And, uh, oh, we switch over to the Houston Astros. Game. Uh, kidding. Uh, that's just Kepler taking a look at some replay. And uh, Yankees had 14 runs, 20 hits, one error in this game. Twins had 12 runs, 15 hits, zero errors. Just crazy game. Now Max Kepler up against Chad Green. We've got bottom of 10, base loaded, two outs, two on count. What do you think is going to happen? Here's the pitch. This one's crushed out in the left center. This is going to empty the bases. Oh, no way. And that was an insane catch by Hicks to end the game. Yankees win 14 to 12. And what else would you expect of a ball game like this? Hicks just laid out. Let's look at this again. Ball's crushed left center, slicing away. Hicks just totally sacrifices his body. It's got to be one of the best catches of the year given the situation. That probably would have tied the ball game for sure, and maybe the runner from first would have got around the win, but nevertheless, game's over. It's in the books. Look at that, frozen in time. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Please subscribe, please follow us on Instagram, and have yourself a great day.